Without a plan, revision can be stressful and lead to poor exam results. In this podcast, I guide students through one part of such a plan, study resources. First, we cover the theory for each topic, and then I suggest questions to practice acquired skills. Join me in making your exam experience a success story. So let's learn more about trigonometric functions. Sine, cosine, and tangent are trigonometric ratios used to find angles and sides in a right angle triangle. The sine of an angle can be calculated by dividing the opposite side to the angle by the hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle can be calculated by dividing the adjacent side to the angle by the hypotenuse. The tangent can be calculated by dividing the opposite side to the angle by the adjacent one. The three trigonometric ratios are usually given as sine, cosine, and tangent. To find angles in a right angle triangle, the inverse of these trigonometric ratios has to be used. Okay, so let's have a look at a question from this topic. Mary is cutting a piece of cardboard into a right angle triangle to make a birthday card. Given that she wants an angle of 65 degrees opposite a side of 4 centimeters, calculate the length of the adjacent side to two decimal places. Now, if you want to access the solution and the answer for this question, use the link in the show notes. Do you know anyone who could benefit from listening to this episode? Share it with them. That's how we can support more students in preparing for their exams. Also, if you like listening to this podcast, it would be awesome if you left a 5-star rating or a review. So let's learn more about exact values of trigonometric functions in radians. The values for some specific trigonometric ratios are useful to know. The exact values of sine for the angle 0, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees are 0, a half, 1 over root of 2, root of 3 over 2, and 1 respectively. The exact values of cosine for these angles are 1, root of 3 over 2, 1 over root of 2, a half, and 1 respectively. The exact values of tangent for the angles 0, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 6 degrees are 0, 1 over root of 3, 1, and root of 3 respectively. The values for the specific trigonometric ratios can be converted into radians by dividing angles by 180 degrees and multiplying them by pi. The values for multiples of these angles can be found using the method of quadrants. The value of the angle stays the same, however the sign changes depending on which quadrant the angle falls in. If it falls in the first quadrant, the value is positive for all three trigonometric ratios. If it falls in the second quadrant, only sine is positive. If it falls in the third quadrant, only tangent is positive. If it falls in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. Now let's mention a question that could be asked in this topic. Calculate the value of cosine of 11 pi over 4 in the brackets. If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. Many students revise for exams without a plan. This can result in sporadic learning, poor exam results, and worse career opportunities. However, you can avoid that. Generate your personal exam revision plan on studysquare.co.uk forward slash plan. Okay, so let's have a look at secondary trigonometric functions. The reciprocal trigonometric ratios are given by taking the reciprocal of the usual trigonometric ratios. Cosecond, second, and cotangent are the reciprocals of sine, cosine, and tangent respectively. These are usually given as cosecond, second, and cotangent. Inverse trigonometric ratios are used to calculate missing angles in right angle triangles when the value of a trigonometric ratio is known. They are given as sine to the power of minus 1, cosine to the power of minus 1, and tan to the minus 1, and are calculated using the appropriate buttons on the calculator. Different trigonometric ratios can be related to each other by some trigonometric identities. The reciprocal trigonometric ratios can be used in identities such as sec squared equals to 1 plus tan squared and cosec squared equals to 1 plus cotan squared. The question that relates to this theory is find the value of x in the given diagram. 
If you want to see the answer and the solution for this question, use the link in the show notes of this episode. Now that we have covered the theory, it is time to practice solving related problems. So head to studysquare.co.uk forward slash resources and try answering questions on this topic. I hope you have a great week ahead and until next time.